Well, welcome to the journey. Um, I'm Kevin Polke, and uh, today we are going to uh, spend some time reflecting on um, a phrase that came from one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite actors, um, the beloved Robin Williams. Uh, I probably learned more from watching him uh, in a couple of his movies, uh, Goodwill Hunting, uh, Patch Adams, um, Dead Poet Society, uh, The Fisher King. Watching him in those movies uh, led me to get an idea of how I wanted to be as a therapist, um, how I wanted to try to uh, embrace, embrace life. But in the movie uh, Dead Poet Society, there was a phrase that he spoke to his students about um, called um, carpe diem or seize the day. What exactly does that mean? To seize the day. Have you thought about it? What did you think as you reflected on the idea of the phrase to seize the day? Let me go and read to you from uh, one of my daily meditations. Um, and this, is, this particular passage was written by Seneca in his uh, manuscript, Moral Letters. Let us therefore set out wholeheartedly leaving aside our many distractions and exert ourselves in this single purpose before we realize too late the swift and unstoppable flight of time and are left behind. It, as each day arises, welcome it as the very best day of all and make it your own possession. We must seize what flees. Ryan Holiday um, writes also on this particular uh, topic. Uh, you you will only get one shot at today. You have only 24 hours which, with which to take it, and then it's gone and lost forever. Will you fully inhabit all of today? Will you call out, I've got this, and do your very best to be your very best? What will you manage to make of today before it slips from your fingers and becomes the past? When someone asks you what you did yesterday, do you really want the answer to be nothing? As I reflect on this, I think this goes to a couple different things. Um, I think of to be intentional. Um, what is it that I want um, to remember? What memories do I want to create today um, so that they will be part of the story that I will tell tomorrow? So one may be intentional. And I think the other piece is to be, is to, uh, be mindful. Um, and, uh, in other words, I know just recently I, I had, uh, I was going over a conversation in my head um, and that had happened a couple of days earlier. And as I was reflecting on that conversation, there were some things that I could probably take take a take a look at and and dissect and break that down and other parts of it was just maybe just ruminating and going over and over the same information i think for me it is more about if if i'm have something that i'm now reflecting on that may have happened in my past how can i discipline myself to look at it dissect it, break it down? What can I learn from it? What could I possibly, if I do decide I could possibly do something different, if, if a similar type of thing occurs in the future? But then at some point, I need to let it go. In other words, I don't want a conversation three or four days ago to be consuming my today. And so that I don't even do anything with my today. So this idea of being intentional, being able to be mindful, and then having the discipline um, to, to navigate through both of those, um, or all three of those. Um, and I know for me, that is uh, something that some days will be, I'll be much better than others. But 
just the idea of being open to it and and with the idea of if someone asks me tomorrow how was yesterday what did you do yesterday and I don't have anything to reflect on because all I did was ruminate on something. Um, I don't want that to be the answer. As you think about the idea of seizing today, because it is the only day that you have at this moment, um, what will the story that you will tell about today? You guys have a great week and I look forward to being with you next week.